all about that. Where are we going, y'all? To get a car. Yeah. We might. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but yeah, she's been. Uh, I had to get my wife to get, tell me what her birthday was because she okay. keeps it on an app. Somewhere around four months. She's somewhere around two and a half months. Okay. okay. Half. Coming up on. But I'm starting to wean her off now. Okay. Um, so how many times a day do y'all bottle feed her now? I feed her once a day because if you feed her, try to feed her twice a day, she doesn't finish it, and that okay. milk replacer is expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess. So. I don't like to waste it. So mm -hmm. That'll work out perfect for us. Yeah, it's okay. got to yeah. be warm. Um, okay. I, I, uh, I put water in a pot, and I bring it up to 115 degrees. Okay. I got a little thermometer. Thermometer, yeah. And then I mix the stuff in. It'll tell you how much on the package. Okay. I'm trying to think. I do four cups for two cats. I'll make this way now. Um, and then pour the bottle up, and usually by the time I get it, it says feed between 100 and 105 degrees. But by the time I get my shoes on, get in the truck, drive all the way down here, it's about right. Pulling up okay. I they, they hadn't spit it out. Let me just say. <laughs> yeah. um, she's a voracious eater. Yeah. And where do you get the uh, formula from? Tractor, Tractor supply. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I, I use a Save a Calf brand. Save a Calf. Mm -hmm. okay. Multi species are, you know, sometimes they'll have a pure beef milk replacer, and sometimes they have the multi species. But okay. she eats both of them. So. Okay. Y'all make sure Noah keeps up with y'all, okay? Don't okay. leave him watch behind. You gotta watch out for your little brothers. That's man. right. They are something else. This is super nice. Yep, this is the kid. We want our cows here. Mm -hmm. So when they come in, it's got a tailgate on it. Oh. So you got them in there and it's got an auto kit. So when they run in and hit it with their shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. They, they think can, they're gonna run all the way through it and it just slams right. on. Them. And then we can it all this drops out and everything so I can give them shots and give them warmer and whatnot. And then if I got like a, a couple of my bigger cows when they're when they're really quick, it's gonna make a lot of it. Oh I see what it is. Uh, this whole side this whole side opens up. Yeah, my thing is. Oh yeah. And I can let them out that way. Okay. Yeah. If they won't fit through there, I guess. They won't, because this only goes. I mean, this gets big, but that gets mm -hmm. real big. So. Okay. I mean, you got some big cows. Yeah. We got some pretty big ones. That's good. And you say there's uh, Holstein, uh, Brangus. 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 Okay. So where do they top off as far as weight? What are y'all range? The weight range, uh, yeah, for the calves. Cows run around 12, 1,400 pounds. Mm -hmm. 
bulls run around 18 to 2,000. Okay. Okay, y'all go look at them. Just watch the snakes. I don't know if snakes out there. Uh, calves will okay. run six, seven, six hundred, okay. six, seven hundred pounds. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of watch the market. So sometimes the four or five hundred pounders sell a little better. Sometimes mm -hmm. six, seven hundred pounders sell a little better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So whenever the market, you got to really <laughs> watch it because it changes. Watch it every day. In fact, we have five on our phone. Yeah. So do y'all like sell to customers or do you sell like take them to a, some type of market? How do y'all do? Right now I'm taking them to uh, a guy down in Brookhaven. Okay. Beach contract, I got you. But I'm, I'm looking to get into uh, doing beef shares like market shares. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. You know, you buy half and right. my neighbor buys the other half. Right. Okay, so that's how I get some through. Yeah, right through. Okay. So what I do is I'll, I'll put them in there in this pen. This is my cutting pen right here. Okay. Where I can cut them out. When they all get in here, oh, okay. then I'll swing that shut. And then get the ones you want. You, okay. And then I can uh -huh. cut, them, cut them around there. I know it took you years to figure out this out. Well, <laughs> the first couple of iterations, because this is like... This is like grown folks Lincoln logs. Grown folks Lincoln logs. You have to do it by the size of the herd you have. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Just because you, if you would think, oh, a uh, pen of ours has got 500 heads, but he keeps a small working pen. Right. And the reason is, you, you don't want to make your pen way too big so you can't handle with cows. So yes. Chuck spent a lot of time figuring out numbers and size. So and right. More, uh, the more they run around, the more you lose at the market. Because oh, yeah. all yeah. that's weight, yeah. you know, and they'll work that <laughs> weight off. You want, them, you want them lazy. You want them, yeah. I, when, it, when we work them in here, nothing's running. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes they'll run coming in here, but by the time I got them in here, They're just sitting. I get them calmed down. Where are the boys? And They're then right. I, I work, you know, ones and twos at a time. I come on out, I'll show you the system. Mm -hmm. It's a, it looks like a mess, but it kind of, once you see it work, it makes sense. Yeah, it works. Work. Oh, it works like a charm. These yeah. are called bud boxes right here. Yeah, okay. these are, these are, uh, this was developed by a Texas cowboy, yeah, Bud I Williams, I think was the oh, name. Oh, okay. And these are my so sorting pins. bud box. Yeah, bud box. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. So I send them down there where Dad's at, and they'll hit that, they'll hit that sheeted gate. Okay. And okay. cows always want to turn around and go back to where they came from. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll open one of these sorting pins, like... If I got heifers and steers to sort out. And then his dad. And now he won't go by here. Yeah. He won't come by you, but they'll run in there. So you just have somebody there kind of standing That's there holding. Usually my little girl does this. She's 18, <laughs> but she's only, she, she built like you are tiny. Right, right. right. Mm -hmm. And so she just stands here and runs the sorting pins. And then the same thing, I, I kind of modify the design a little bit. Hey, fellas, y'all play with this all you want, but just don't smash your fingers, That's okay? That's what I'm trying to tell them. You can play with anything I got. Just don't Did smash you your fingers. Did you wear these on? Or uh, these like came this. with it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's our favorite yeah. type of lock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do. So this is uh, this is uh, what I call the double bud box. It's kind of my design, but um, I'll open. I'll let them in here and shut this. And that sheeted panel gives them only one option. Yeah. To go. They can either go down the chute or they got to come back at me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they don't want to come back at me. Yeah, exactly. like Except for the bull. Sometimes he comes back. <laughs> Look, even the dog was like, yeah. oh, okay, yeah. yeah. This is how we go. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just run them right back out that way. And if I need to rework something, I can get them in this gate here. So, you know, those little, because that, that, that section that we're fencing off on our farm, I want to divide that into three paddocks. Right. Like, how many? Cows, do you think? Okay, so cause we, we want to kind of go with like a smaller, um, like the Dexter, you ever heard of the Dexter? Dexter, yeah. yeah. Like if I had Dexter cows and I was rotating through them three little paddocks, how how many do you think? Like two, three, maybe? One? Probably, she, you said that's about five acres over there, and that side's probably what, about two, three? Mm -hmm. Maybe three, yeah. So, most many, places in the country. Head, how many head you gonna run? I'm not sure. That's what we're asking. Yeah, most yeah. Places, what can we support? Mm -hmm. Most places in the country say one cow per acre. Okay. That's yeah. from Mississippi. Okay. From Mississippi. Yeah. 
Now, we get away with a little more here because our grass is so thick. Yeah. yeah you guess. guys got about the same grass. It's going to be one of those things you're going to have to play with. I'd start with maybe three or four. Mm -hmm. And if it looks like they're eating too much, sell one out. Okay. You know what I mean? And if, it's, if they're not eating it fast enough, maybe. Yeah, yeah no. This is, this, is a, uh, this is such a flexible activity. <laughs> I got mm -hmm. it. If you, you mess know, up, you just fix it next year. That's <laughs> it. That's yeah, it. it. This is a long term. There, there are no perfect ranchers. No. Mm -hmm. Y'all boys right over looking at the camera? He does. Jump in here. I'm going for a ride. Pepper came. Get it. You got a friend over here looking for you. Oh, yeah. Be sweet, Rock John. Be sweet, Rock John. Come here, Rock John. He's like, I don't want no problem. Come on, boys. I'll ride you boys over there. So we can follow y'all. We'll put the seats up. Oh, okay. Seat oh, that's one of the ones that has on. Yeah. Oh, you're fancy. Oh, that's fancy. Because <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take much to impress us. <laughs> oh, listen, that's completely fine. They're in their little work clothes. This is, this is a work, uh, work day. Listen, they're work boys. They, they're not like used it. to it. So do I need to follow y'all with the cage? Okay, okay. I'll follow y'all. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Oh, okay. I won't drive fast. If you can get I it, never, then I never that's put... fine. The... No. You ready, No. No. You ready? No. No. Yep. yep. You saying yep. Oh, you said yep. Listen, my kids would rather do this than go to an amusement park or play video games. They love this type of stuff. That's Duncan Creek right there. Duncan Creek. I love it. Think of that ride, huh? That was fun. They were excited Ooh. when we went on the street. Oh, yeah. So, y'all are still building this, uh. Yeah, we just started construction on this. This okay. is a new. This is a tax store. Uh, my, uh, uh, my son and his wife, they want to open up a store here and sell horse tack. Okay. Um, saddles, bridles, uh, Riding clothing, stuff like that. Cool. And that we just had the contract guy come back and there's we're gonna pour this other slab this side and that side and that that's a porch. Mm -hmm. And that'll be the store right there. Okay, cool. They're gonna pour Monday, which is which is exciting. It is exciting. Uh, Chuck and I do all the work. We're we have construction experience, but we started building the back wall. You see it back there, that steel stud wall? Yes, back there. I see. Is that a house? No, it's a and store. So you, so you just have the companies come in and pour your concrete and things yes. like that. Okay. This is going to be my granddaughter's other barn. Okay. She's going to set up 18 stalls in here. Okay. And she's going to uh, do a venting, boarding horses. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. we'll have a store here. And then board. Here. Yeah. That, that makes a lot of sense. That's his daughter. That's doing yeah, that's my yeah. granddaughter. Okay. She's cool. Daughter. Come on, guys. We'll go see this. And watch your, watch where you step. I open it. Let's see. I think the door's in here. Yep. She might get a little scared. You can pet her. She might get a little jumpy. Mm-hmm. Got a little cowboy on them. Hey. Hey. That's we call that other one Norman. We call oh, her Penelope no. and him Norman. <laughs> we started baby girl. Oh, okay. I said, nope, Penelope. <laughs> Norman came from the... Uh, Norman came from City Slickers. City Slickers. Yeah. <laughs> with Billy Crystal back in the what yeah, was that, 80s, remember. early 90s. Yeah. Is that her... Is that his mommy? Their brother and their sister. sister. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. That's brother and sister. Yeah, she ain't but about 50 pounds. Okay. Maybe. She was about 20, 25, maybe 30 pounds born. Oh, okay. Is, what's normal for uh, how much of a... in the 50 to 60 pounds. Oh, range. okay. So she's like a just born cow. Yeah, she's a couple months old, but mm -hmm. she just, 
She's okay. just tiny. All right, so we're just getting our new cow settled. Uh, we're so excited, and it's an amazing story of how we even got this cow, because the Lord um, had led Tim to give away a culvert. We we're gonna sell the culvert. We put out an ad. We're trying to get money for our fencing and to do some other things on the farm. And you know, the Lord just put it on his heart to to give it because it's IAG. It's all about God. It's not about money and so we just trust the lord when he tells us to do something to do it and so he called me he was like you know i really feel led to get this culvert away i was like awesome great go for it do it and he gave it away and they started talking about cows and lo and behold they had a bottle fed cow that they were happy to give a new home and that's how we ended up with this sweet little baby cow here and we never thought we would have cows this soon, like ever. But it's so amazing because when you're obedient and when you follow the Lord and do what he's calling you to do, like he blesses you far beyond your imagination or your expectation. So that's how we ended up with this sweet little baby cow over there. Um, and we have the tractor that can lift the round bell, so we're prepared for her because it was a lot sooner than we expected. But it's all about God, and so when we follow him, things happen. He makes things happen. You don't have to struggle and strive. You just, you're obedient, and he makes the things happen that need to happen to get you to where you need to be. So we're going to go and get little sweet baby cow settled and uh, learn a lot <laughs> about cows also, in the process. Our sheep, if you look at them, some of them look kind of fat, and so they should be having... Uh, Lambs yeah. pretty soon. We hope so. So hopefully we'll have some lambs on the ground. Yeah, around we'll have April a, is baby what we're calf. And, you know, yeah. our pigs also should be yeah. farrowing pretty soon. So we'll have piglets, uh, a bottle calf, and some, some baby sheep, some lambs.